I haven't asked you this during the break. What was your first impression upon seeing the ad? Honestly, I didn't find anything wrong with it. I feel that there was just a huge overreaction. And I think, you know, from everything I read, what I noticed first and foremost was everyone commented that she was thin, the woman was thin. So why would she need to get on a stationary bike, on a Peloton bike? The bottom line is weight loss is just one of the many benefits that we get from a, from a spin journey. And, you know, there's the endorphin kick in, which really helps us mentally and helps with depression. There's building stamina, there's building strength. So weight loss is just one component. And quite frankly, weight loss has to be in combination with the nutrition piece. And that's probably the last thing that's gonna happen. But Ruth, wouldn't the ad have been better if some of that were flat out said, right? Uh, hey, I feel better, you know, emo the endorphins are kicking in. What I saw when I saw the ad was a woman who looked uh, thin and fit, but also insecure. She's got that look on her face like, am I okay? You know, and, and it seems like her husband's given her this thing because she needs it, but there's nothing emotional spoken about it. He's not getting on the bike too. It's like something that she needs seems to be the message to it. And that makes me kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> I understand that. And I think you make a really good point. I think that explanation would have been really helpful. It was almost assumed that everybody knew what goes into the spin journey and, and what happens during the journey. And the truth is, yes, yeah, she seemed nervous. She seemed insecure. For whatever reason, spinning has always had this intimidate, intimidating factor to it and I'm sure that's what she was expressing going into it but the truth was they did do a good job in the 30 seconds of kind of showing how she approached it and then at the end she felt like a new person she felt transformed so in that sense it was a good message people also seem to take issue with this idea of someone spending two thousand dollars on a Christmas present for yes. someone yes. Uh, and kind of this luxury nature of Peloton which is an image that they have been trying to kind of move away from especially after they've gone public and they're trying to attract more customers uh, did you see that in the ad at all I mean, I definitely saw that in the ad, and the truth is, in previous Peloton ads, you know, all those Peloton bikes are living in a gorgeous, luxurious home <laughs> or apartment. But they can't get away from the fact that it's it's a high-cost item, and their demographic is a wealthier demographic. I'm not sure how to really get away from that at the end of the day. And is or that a bad thing? Exactly. I mean, there will always be luxury items and brands out there for that set. Right. We don't we don't make fun of Tiffany for you know for exactly. di diamonds and stuff. Um, all right. So, given your reaction to the ad, what's your reaction to their reaction? Right when they say we're well, we're sorry if you're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not really sure what else they can say. Mm -hmm. um, they can't really apologize for what they think is a great product, and it is a great product, um, and it does a lot of good for a lot of people. Um, again, agree with your point that if there was a little more explanation in it, it would have helped everyone. But I guess the massive amounts of people who are not in that demographic have not experienced the ride, the journey. And so, yes, they don't know really what they're talking about or why she would react that way or why he would give it to her as a gift. See, on the one hand, it's kind of like the Lexus with a bow on it commercials that exactly. we've been seeing for years. But th there aren't the same kind of body image issues that come with owning a car. Right. So is there, a, is there a certain amount of self-awareness that you need to have as a health and fitness brand about the, the emotional baggage that all of us are bringing to the topic that's going to interpret, that's going to, I, I guess, affect how we interpret something like this? Yes, I think there is. And um, again, as I mentioned before, for whatever reason, spinning has always had an intimidation factor to it. And so people are not going to know that. Um, so she obviously acted that out and again showed this great result by the end of the journey. Net Net, do you think that this ad is actually going to be a negative for Peloton? I say this because the virality of just the ad itself um, has gotten a lot more eyeballs than potentially would it you know, would have been seeing the ad otherwise. I mean, I keep going back to, you know, any press is good press, and the amount of attention they have gotten over this is crazy. Um, I understand there was an effect at the stock market, but I think it's gonna reverse. I really do. Really? I mean, as a backwards. husband, I don't know if I'm buying my wife a Peloton after seeing that reaction. Like, <laughs> am I going to take that $2,400 risk? Uh, I don't know. But I like the idea that maybe she asked for the Peloton bike. We really don't know.